Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to get free access to Microsoft 365 tools like Teams Admin Center, Microsoft Admin Center, Exchange Admin Center, SharePoint Admin Center or any 365 tools through Microsoft 365 Developer Sandbox program. What is Microsoft 365 Developer Sandbox program? It's a free environment where you can develop, test and deploy Microsoft 365 solution like Teams Admin Center, Teams Users, Direct Routing, Exchange Admin and any Microsoft 365 tools with 25 users pre-activated Microsoft 365 e5 subscription. We all know that Microsoft 365 e5 subscription is one of the most popular subscription that includes most of the Microsoft features. As part of this Development Sandbox program, you will get completely totally free instance of 25 users with 365 E5 subscription where you can practice your Teams learning, Teams direct routing and anything related to Microsoft 365 like Exchange or SharePoint. The most exciting two features of this developer program which I like one is the you don't need any credit card. So usually when you sign up for a free Azure account a 365 account you have to link your credit card um, that's where they authenticate you are a legit user or not. But in this developer program you don't need any credit card anymore. So it's a totally free you're not tagging any of your credit card or debit card with are Azure tenants. What happened was when I uh, when I was initially learning Azure Cloud and 365, I created an account because they have something called trial account. But even for the trial account, you have to connect your credit card. And what happens after the trial period over, if you have something left over in your Azure account or 365 account, they will auto charge. Of course, there are options to disable the auto renewal stuff. But if at all you miss it, you will get charged. Okay, so you don't need to worry about those kind of things because you are not attaching any credit card here anymore. The second feature is it is automatically renewable. Like initially they will offer you 90 days of trial or 90 days of sandbox. After 90 days, if you have some development activity on the tenant, like you created some accounts, you tested some SSO login or you tested some features, they will automatically renew that subscription. So that means if you're a learning or an enthusiast or a developer, this is the best place for you to explore all the Microsoft 365 products. All right, let's see who can use 365 Sandbox program. So my answer is anyone can use Microsoft 365 Developer Sandbox program, regardless of whether you are a professional developer or a student or someone who wanted to learn Microsoft 365 product suits. And in this video, we will see how to sign up for the free Microsoft 365 Developer Program Sandbox. With that, I will be getting a Microsoft tenant where I'll be getting completely free access to 365 Admin Center. Since I'm from the UC background, I'll be experimenting most of the things on the Microsoft 365 teams so of course i'll get access to ms teams admin center where i can create users make calls between each other do many integrations and all of that so with all these let's get into sign up process so all you need to go to this particular url here developer.microsoft.com or you can google microsoft 365 developer sandbox program you will reach to this link and if you scroll through it you can see how they're going to offer free microsoft 365 instant sandbox of course they are offering 365 e5 which is a really good subscription and uh, you will see something like this 90 days of usage and they will give you an on microsoft.com domain when you sign up for any Microsoft 365 thing for the initial time they will be offering you an on microsoft domain later you will be adding your own domain for example, in my case, I am owning a domain called ajcollab.com. So I can link my ajcollab.com to this particular tenant so that I can create users with ajcollab.com. For example, abdul at ajcollab.com, just like that. And there will be 25 users. You can create 25 users inside that. And there are two options available, like pre-configured sandbox. There will be some test data available, some sample users available, or at least empty one. I'll be creating the empty one because I wanted to build everything from the scratch. Go to the join now button. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can sign, sign in with that credential. But for this specific example, I created a dedicated mail ID and an account, a Gmail account. With that Gmail account, I will be signing up now. Okay. So create one, ajlabs115 at gmail.com and let me create a password. Country region India would be fine. They send me a code uh, to my Gmail account. I will log in there. All right. So verify email address. This is the code. Use the address to move the person to the icon indicated by the colored circle. Okay, this is what it is. So. Okay, so the sign up process has completed. I created a new Microsoft account using my Gmail account. 
Now, this is my developer sandbox program sign up process. I'm going to select, though I am from India, I'm going to select the United States here. The reason is I wanted to test a lot of features about MS Teams. I want to test and experiment on MS Teams. There is a feature in MS Teams called calling plan. As we know, there are a lot of tri regulation or DOT regulation. The calling plan is not available for India and many other countries. So if I select US, United States, most of the services will be available on that particular tenant. So it is important to select the United States here. I'm okay to select any other country as long as you're okay. But I specifically wanted to try the calling plan. So I selected United States. Company, let me put something like AJ Labs. Language English, except done. I wanted to receive UDK. It's about, yeah, let, let me receive. Click next. Then uh, what's your primary focus as a developer? Application to be solved in the market. Next, what areas of Microsoft 365 development you are interested in? Of course, I'll be interested in uh, MS Teams. Where is it? Yeah, Microsoft Teams. I also wanted to explore Microsoft Graph, then Outlook. It's up to you. You can select anything, but these are my uh, personal preferences. Also, SharePoint. Or if you want to select all, you can select Kappa platform. Okay, Identity platform. Yeah, I own, I all need this. <laughs> Okay, so it's up to you. You can select whatever is required and go on. And these are the two options available. Instant Sandbox with pre-configured users. There'll be some test user account, test emails, Microsoft Teams accounts and SharePoint sites. I'm not looking for this one. I need a specific one, which is configurable sandbox. In that, I can configure myself. I can create users. I will have full control and I can do all stuff that I want. When you select this one, if you look at the right side, you can, you will get a domain name like on Microsoft.com domain name, a renewable e subscription. That's the most exciting stuff for me because it's really costly. If you want to buy any 365 e subscription, it's too costly. Personally, we cannot afford it. Only enterprise companies can take e That's the thing they are giving you free. So it's a really great deal. Go ahead and grab this. Click next. And then country region, as I said, you select uh, United States because your tenant will be in the United States and all the service available in the United States, you will get that. Then account username. So when you get a tenant to log in, you have to have a tenant login ID. So let me create, I'll select admin and then create a domain. The domain can be anything. So this is like an on Microsoft domain. Any prefix that you add, the domain will be your prefix dot on Microsoft.com. So based on the availability, you can select anything. But if you are an owner of a, an actual domain, you can add it later. For example, in my case, like I said, I have a domain name of my own, which is ajcollab.com. I have bought it from GoDaddy or you can buy it from any registrar. And you can link those domain name once you complete the sign up process. I am going to create another video how to hook your own domain with a 365 account. But initially when you sign up, this is the process. You have to just enter a domain. Let me use uh, AJ, AJ Dev Lab. I'm going to use AJ Dev Lab. The login credential will be admin at ajdevlab.onmicrosoft.com. So I'm going to copy this one. Then I need to put my password and let me give a password. Once you fill all this, you can go ahead and click next. Then phone number. I can verify with my Indian phone number. Let me select India. Then my mobile number. Let me get the OTP. Yes. Okay, so I got the OTP and then I'm done. Setting up your developer subscription now. All right, that's fine. That's good. This is amazing, guys. I, I really love this program because I was always testing the features with a normal subscription of uh, free trial and I exhausted with all three free trial accounts and I always need to add my credit card there. The USS developer subscription to learn more about. Okay, so your subscription is ready. Now let's log in. This is my domain name. So my user account will be admin that. Okay, once the subscription is ready, let's go ahead and log into the 365 tools. The portal URL is admin.microsoft.com and you're going to be entering this particular username which you created during the signup process and the password. Okay. You signed in? Yes. Look at this. This is fantastic. I got 365 admin center access with a subscription of E5. I I'm really excited guys, seriously. Let's go and check the subscription. Go to your products. We can see my E5 subscription. Like I said, this is renewable 
and I haven't used any credit card or debit card. Okay, look at this, E5, 90 days. So after 90 days, what I said was, if you do any kind of uh, experiments, like you create some users, do some test calls, your trial will be, auto means you know, the, the duration will be automatically extended as a developer program, okay? And there is no recurring billing. I, I didn't even give any billing at all. So it's totally free. You haven't had any credit card. Since I'm here, I'll also test my Teams Admin Center where I will be working most of the time. So let me open the Teams Admin Center here. This is fantastic. I got the Team Admin Center access. I can create users here. I can do all sort of experiments. So far, I was paying from my pocket to use this feature. So today uh, onwards, I don't need to do that. I can use the... Developer Sandbox, this is interesting. And let me go to voice, direct routing. Yeah, I have direct routing feature as well. Cool. So that's about the subscription. And again, if you wanted to see your subscription status, you can come back to developer.microsoft.com and developer program, go to my dashboard. So this, this is where you see the status of your uh, subscription. I have 92 days left, but that is okay. After 92 days, it's not going to cancel. It will be get renewed automatically. All right, so um, this is it. This is a very good place for uh, experimenting on 365 tools uh, to do the lab, to do uh, all sort of testing. So if you're a working professional or a uh, student who wanted to learn more about 365, this is the amazing place. Go ahead and create a free subscription and create some sample data, like create some users, do some testing. Your subscription will be automatically renewed. So best place to create a lab, it's developer sandbox. And if you log in, you will not be able to see any users. Uh, even if you go to users, active users, not be able to see any extra user. It will be only one user which I created during the signup. That's our major admin. I don't like the initial and last name. So let me change that. All right. And one another thing which you need to do as part of the signup process, once you complete all signup process and you test your access and everything, you must enable Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, it's a two-factor authentication method. After a period of time, they will force you to enable two-factor authentication with Microsoft Authenticator application. If you're not enabling that, what happens after that certain period, you will keep getting the warnings. And then once it is expired, you will be logged out completely. Then you may have to open case with Microsoft and do a lot of experiments to get the account back. So the safest option is after signing up, you immediately go and enable Microsoft Authenticator based login. Okay. So how to do that? Let's see. For that, log into office.com and then you can go to your account, my account. You must click on the security info and there will be a my sign in. So once you click on the security info, it goes to mysignin.microsoft.com or you can directly go there, mysignin.microsoft.com. Then you will be able to see the sign-in methods. Currently, I have only a password method. You need to activate uh, your mobile number as well as Microsoft Authenticator. So any case you miss your credential, you can still get access to it. So add a sign-in method, choose a method, Authenticator app, phone and email. So let me select Authenticator app first, click add. Now you will have to install Microsoft Authenticator on your phone, which I do have already. Once that is installed, open the Authenticator application. Uh, I have it open here. I do have my other accounts as well here. And there'll be a plus symbol in the top side. Click plus. And you can see personal account or work or school account. So I mean, I'm going to select work or school account. Then it's going to ask me um, scan a QR code. I'm sorry, I'm not able to show you in this phone because of the display and brightness control. So scan QR code. Then I'm scanning this QR code, which is currently on the screen. That account got added. Click next. You must do this, guys. After signing up for the developer sandbox, you must enable the Microsoft Authenticator. And they're giving me a number of 97. There is a prompt here to enter that number. 97. Yes, I'm good. It's approved. Click next. I'm done. So I have two methods now. One is a password. Second one is an Authenticator. I will also add my mobile number 9494860. Text me the code. These are all for my password recovery process. In any of the situation, if I lose my account, I will get that. Five two seven eight six nine. I am done. For additional security, if at all you wanted to add your mobile uh, email address, that is also possible. You can add one more method and then add your uh, email address. These are all will be used if you have any security problems with your account. This is fine. I have password, mobile and authenticator app. That should be good. So that's it. This is the way you sign up for the Sandbox account. And you can use this Sandbox account for create, develop, test your applications, deploy solutions, or also for uh, training your customers for uh, Microsoft 365 features. It's a great resource for everyone who wanted to test, deploy, who wants to learn more 
about Microsoft 365 or develop solution on Microsoft 365 platform. And it's totally free and easy to sign up. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below. I will address those. Again, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to add your own domain if you are an owner of a domain or how to purchase a domain and add it here so that when you create a user, the account will be like abdul at ajcollab.com or abdul at abc.com. I will show you how to integrate the domain and the 365 account together. That will be on the next video. Till then, see you guys. Bye-bye.